Welcome everyone to episode 16 of Healthy Mind Fit Body Podcast. This is Wes and I have Kevin on the line. Hey Kev, how's it going? Hey Wes, good. How you doing? Well, as you can hear, my voice is uh, still a little bit off because of the cold I've had, but I am pulling out of the slump and I think I'm uh, ready to play some volleyball tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, I was wondering, uh, your prediction of your month-long cold is not coming true, which is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, half of a month. How about that? It's been two weeks. Nice. And Oh yeah, yeah, Happy New Year too. I forgot to mention Happy that. Happy New Year. Indeed. 2010 now. The decade has come and gone. Yeah. Some people say it was the worst decade ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of the YouTube videos on that. They're pretty funny. Yeah, Reason TV had a short clip about it getting into the realm of the insanity of politics. But um, hopefully this uh, next year will be great for everyone. And, you know, since it's the holiday season, some people might have already celebrated Festivus <laughs> for the rest of us. We were looking at a funny clip about the nature of Festivus, which was from Seinfeld. Of course, you know, there's various aspects of Festivus. Instead of a Christmas tree, you get a pole, <laughs> you know, aluminum pole. Yeah. You know, because it's very minimalist. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then you have the uh, traditions of the airing of grievances and the feats of strength. Feats of strength. Exactly. Yeah. That's why it's important to have that fit body. Yeah, exactly. But I think it was the bane of George's existence because uh, his father browbeat him into all kinds of things. <laughs> but they have on this article um, different foods that were good for Festivus. Yeah. Do you want to just go through uh, the list of foods? <laughs> Yeah, might as well. Okay. So we've got uh, pizza, Chinese, and Indian takeout. I guess those are staples for living in the city, right? Yeah. Now, you can get some decent Chinese and Indian takeout, I believe. Yeah. If you leave out the large quantities of rice, I think you're pretty good to go there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, pizza's a little tougher to do low carb. It is. Yeah. Bagel bites. I'm a bagel bites. Not so good, right? Yeah. Mostly carbs there. Yeah, a lot of processed stuff. You do get some tomato sauce there, some lycopene yeah. and perhaps a little bit of vitamin C, but it's pretty much overwhelmed by the refined carbohydrates in the bagels. Yeah. Yeah, and then we've got sardines and pork rinds. Not eh, too bad. Protein. Yeah, exactly. That's actually not too shabby. Sardines are a good source of omega-3s. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Scotch whiskey. Mmm. Is that any better than regular whiskey? Well, if your car runs out of gas, you can always pour it in the tank and go on your merry way. <laughs> yeah, you can multitask with that stuff. Does any greater understanding of Festivus exist in the world than that which is produced by the heavy consumption of fine scotch whiskey? <laughs> no, <laughs> get you some. <laughs> nice. All right. Nacho cheese. It's not yo cheese. <laughs> <laughs> If wow. it's not yo cheese, don't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, famous at ballparks, you know, and any kind of festivities, they've got nacho cheese. I do like the jalapenos on there. Yeah. Those are really tasty, but um, the nachos, not so much. Yeah, so there's five of them. I don't have the other page for some reason. Yeah, it wasn't too hot, so yeah. uh, maybe we can skip on over to the resolutions aspect of what we were going to talk about today. Yeah, and we actually sent out a newsletter a couple days ago kind of talking about New Year's resolutions and what a better approach might be. So if you're interested and you want to subscribe to the newsletter, uh, you can just go to healthymindfitbody.com and uh, put in your name and email address and you can see that one. If you sign up after this podcast, you obviously won't get the December issue, but uh, we'll send it to you if you just shoot us an email. Right on. You talked about goal setting, right? Yeah, yeah, some goal setting ideas and they're pretty outside the box. So it's not the stuff you're seeing from like every other source on the internet and every TV show that you watch. Mm hmm. And on this topculture.com article, they uh, had women's 2010 resolutions and 89% said that were in the survey, are you making a New Year's resolution? 89% said yes. Yes. And how long will you stick to it? And the bulk of the people said until March. <laughs> it's pretty funny that uh, actually 4% of the people that were surveyed said they would stick to it for one week. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there were not exactly uh, lofty goals there. Take it for a test drive and then uh, <laughs> return it back to the lot. Yeah, not, not a lot of commitment here. So what is your New Year's resolution for 2010? 17% um, said exercise more. Mm -hmm. And so obviously we're still in the era of 
exercising more is good for losing weight. So lose weight was the second one at 15%. Yeah, it seems like a smaller percentage there. Yeah. Be happier is 15%. That should be, shouldn't that be number one? I mean, isn't being happier ultimately what we want out of all this stuff? Even if it's, you know, one of our goals might be losing weight, but 